Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. We are here now in the Womba Show. Today we have two new special guests that are going to discuss something very, very, very special. But before that, please give us that like button, subscribe to the channel for new content, and see you right back in the studio. Okay, welcome back guys. We are here in the studio, and as I just said, uh, today we're going to discuss something of great importance but before that I would like to present our two guests on my left side we have here Mr. Johnson uh, historian and archaeologist of ancient cultures and on my right side we have Mr. Jean-Martin Hubert de la Saint-Rentière did I say that properly? Uh, Jean-Martin Hubert de la Saint-Rentière I'm so sorry oh my God. okay so the topic here today is if the if 1648, the which is the piece of Westphalia, the starting point of international relation. And um, before we start, I would like to ask you both of you, uh, where do you think that international relation started? If you want to start, you wanna go first, mate. Yes, of course, uh, I can start. So uh, for me, it's very simple. Uh, the place where international relations uh, started is definitely Europe and uh, most definitely even um, with the peace of Westphalia for three reasons. First of all, because it's the birth of the modern state, uh, which is very important with national sovereignty and also because it's the beginning of national and international order uh, in Europe, which means in history. Uh, finally, because Westphalia is when the sense of community really begin uh, in Europe and therefore in the rest of the world as well. I understand, but isn't that a little bit of Eurocentric? Uh, yes, uh, maybe it is, but uh, in my opinion, Europe at that time was the center of the world uh, as it's uh, the beginning of colonialism and which will be even more uh, important in the future. We, therefore, Europe at this time really created what will be the next international order in the next hundreds of years. I see. Okay, so having heard what Mr. Jean Martyr have said about where he thinks that international relations started, we would like also to know what do you think about this? I mean, the oops, social distancing, watch out, COVID-19. <laughs> oh, that was a good joke. Okay. That was a good joke. Okay, okay, okay go ahead. So, listen, if we look at back at history, uh, he says uh, 1648, yeah? Yeah, it was yeah, 1648. 1648, yeah. when relations started, mate. How much, how, history is a long, long time, long period. And the first civilization, which is the Sumerian city-states, uh, they started you know, 3000 uh, BC before Jesus Christ. We're talking and about uh, civilization. Sumerian. It's the, it's the, yeah, the okay, first. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> not, you're not, you're not your uh, modern state thing. No, no, no. no, no, okay. no. We're talking real civilizations when they started. The Sumerian city states, where they include the city of Uru, Kish, Lagash, Uma, or, you know, the typical. And I mean, it, it, this, that's when international relations really started. You know why? Because you know it's the first civilization where you had the first interactions. They they had trade with uh, with uh, neighboring communities, and they also had you know city states acted like you know an independent country. That trade, good production, good systems, political units, they're passionate, and and they acted in sort of a hierarchy. And so, uh, as I said before, they ex they had good exchanges with. Uh, with, with uh, for instance, the Indus uh, Valley people, uh, which is now now today India, and so for, you know having those sort of traits, you know, it's considered to be mm. part of you know a typical mm. aspect of international relations, and that's why it happens, you know, during the Sumer Sumerian era, and not yeah. 400 years ago. I mean, 400 years ago, this is, I mean, it's ridiculous. Yeah, it, it's it's really really not because um, uh, as you say, the history is. Uh, very long period of time, uh, indeed. Yeah, and, uh, when we talk about international relations today, it's not some uh, primitive uh, civilization. Which, of course, uh, when I say primitive, uh, I don't mean that uh, 
uh, it's it's not uh, really civilized, but it's not civilized as uh, we see it today. Which uh, today we everyone lives uh, in a mod modern uh, sovereign state, yeah, yeah. Which, which was not the case of the Sumerian. And of course, uh, Sumerians were not uh, at the hunter gatherer uh, level. But uh, uh, today, when uh, we talk about uh, uh, international relations, I mean, tell me if I'm uh, if I'm wrong, but. Uh, uh, I think it's more relevant to talk about uh, the modern state and the sovereign state, uh, which is. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, me. Mm. I mean, I understand the aspect, you know, today, modern mm. state, you know, a well developed institutional, as you mentioned, but we're talking, oh, yeah, the way I view it at least, I mean, it's exchanges, trade, interactions, exchanges of ideas, products, etc. Mm. International relations, the way I see it is that. And I went in, and so all these characteristics, the Sumerian city states yes, fulfill yes, them yes, characteristics. Yes. Okay, Obviously so it's more developed with uh, with this with Westphalian era. But yeah, we can all agree that uh, internal relations uh, in the first place uh, involved uh, war, uh, trade. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, of course. But uh, uh, I I think in my point of view, of course, that uh, internal relations relations uh, today is beyond that. Okay, so now before before we finish, I would like to ask you uh, just one last question, and if you could answer real quick. Of course. Um, and the question is: uh, Is international relation an evolving mm -hmm. concept over time? For instance, uh, what do you think about pre-international systems and the inter and the current international system? I mean, may I? I mean, well, first of all, you know. We have different uh, political, uh, you know, political and institutional aspects on the pre-international system with the hunter-gatherers, you know, the, the, the more hierarchical and all this. Whereas, you know, the international system today is completely different. We have, you know, uh, good. You, you have laws. We we have dif different institutional aspects where we have been reinforced, and international system within human history has always existed in my view it has always exist, existed but has transformed and has developed even more in its own concepts and so uh, asking ourselves you know international relations has always been there it's only been ever more developed throughout the years and so it's i think it's wrong to say it started in 1648 no 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 it's always been there it's just the way it's been developed it is how it, the integration how it's changed mm -hmm. and so obviously it's been for instance in 1648 okay there's been a huge a huge a huge change with the, the birth of the modern state the peace of westphalia which has further integrated uh concepts but in terms of you know human basic relations which is also interpreted in international relations so it's been transformed I see. and it's throughout time and we're gonna and yes. we're gonna continue yes. seeing this throughout time yes what do you think yeah well uh, I, uh, my fellow colleague here is clearly defending a popular vision actually uh, um, this topic uh, which is the vision of uh, Barry Buzan and uh, Richard Little uh, you, you know them uh, yeah they're very famous yes uh, they wouldn't uh, it's uh, it's interesting it's very <laughs> interesting uh, topic um, well uh, of course, my vision goes a little beyond that. Uh, I think it's very important to insist on uh, the idea of pre-international systems uh, because international systems, as we see it, uh, have uh, some very specific features which pre-international systems uh, really don't have. There's nothing very specific about them. So it's difficult to talk about uh, international relations really uh, in, a, in a world uh, uh, about hunter-gatherers, uh, for instance, where there's no really uh, a clear uh, set of uh, features. Okay. So, the, yeah, the, the features of uh, international systems uh, are uh, that um, uh, there's a clear uh, structure, a clear structure, uh, an interconnection, um, development, uh, which, uh, when I mean development, I mean the rise of city-states, uh, Sumeria, yeah, yeah. would be uh, an international system, of course, I don't deny that, I just don't say that it's uh, nothing uh, compared to what happened uh, after yeah, well, Westphalia. Yeah. But um, the, the progress of social technologies, for instance, uh, increased uh, interactions. Uh, 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 social technologies is uh, writing, for instance. Uh, Pre-international system, uh, there's no writing, so this is an, an essential tool, an essential tool. Still common relationship. 
Sorry? It's common relations. Yes, but common relations is not very really clearly structured. This it's, it's nothing compared uh, to what uh, has been um, it's happening. Still it's, fundamental. it's fundamental. It and is. It is the basics. Yeah. Uh, of uh, which we. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how you view it. I mean, would you agree? I mean, would you see it more? Is international relations well to be honest uh, maybe i'm wrong because i'm not an expert but i really do not defend the idea of uh the before and after i mean mm. i really think that it always it, it has been there always yeah and as you said maybe uh, i'm not trying to no uh, of course not. To be honest, <laughs> I, I'm not take his side no no no, no, no. <laughs> no it's just that i really think that it, it's always been there yeah and that maybe mm-hmm. um the important thing here is how it has developed mm-hmm. so maybe i'm more here in his point because i don't know if uh, his um, approach which is westphalia has led international relation to uh, great um, changes yeah. in in in, on, in our future uh, and in history. Definitely. But of course, I also agree that um, the Sumerian state is uh, of great importance because, for uh, indeed, it's um, the first civilization, and and of course, the communication that it had with other communities. We have a relation there, so mm-hmm. of course, uh, saying that there wasn't mm-hmm. a relation in that uh, at that moment. I think uh, maybe I'm wrong, but I think that it would be a, a big mistake, mm-hmm. indeed. Terrible mistake. And um, well, uh, we're running out of time. So okay. uh, again, thank you very much no, for being thank here. You, thank you. Thank it you was very nice much. Thank you. Uh, me and the Wombo Show appreciate your presence here tonight. Oh, it was a real pleasure. Uh, thank you very much. Pleasure, a huge pleasure. <laughs> Corona. Corona. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go. Maybe some warming up. Yes, 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 man up. Man up, man up. Uh, what?